Welcome back to Deep Thought. We're going through Mega Man 5, and I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> okay then, that sure was an intro. <laughs> napalm Man stage is actually, it's okay. Like, I, I like the theming, like the endangered animals that we're just murdering. That's smart. <laughs> it's uh, based on Vietnam. It actually is, yeah. I think. And I'm not joking, yeah. Yeah, I think they had some trouble releasing this in some areas because of that. I can't remember exactly where, but. Wait, why? Like, well, did they... like <laughs> seems like I suppose you could take it as being like a little bit insensitive in parts, like with the napalm weapons and shit. But oh, but they had no problem with Mega Man Six. <laughs> being, you I know, mean... stereotype central. Yeah, I think there's a difference between poking fun at a stereotype and bringing back memories of, you know, people being killed and shit, but, you know, are you going to get the E-Tank? Yeah, you got the secret E-Tank that's not so secret, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, really? There, there was trouble releasing this? It's, that's weird. Like, there's nothing in this stage or in this game that would indicate, like, this is supposed to be inspired by Vietnam or something like that. If it's just a napalm name, mm, I, I don't know. Well, napalm was used in the Vietnam War, like... I think it's just a general safety... Like, just a general sensitivity thing, because I know, like, shortly after 9-11, there were a lot of things that, like, had plane attacks and oh, things yeah. that were filtered. And I think, like, sometimes just certain countries just do go a little bit sensitive just to be on the safe side, you know, avoid backlash and shit. Yeah, I see this stage as being inspired by, um, as I quoted the movie at the beginning of this part, uh, Apocalypse Now. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I haven't seen that movie, but that's like a Vietnam-esque thing where like the guy in the beginning says, I love the smell of napalm in the morning, because napalm. But uh, I, I suppose I can see what you're saying, but man, I never knew that. It's weird. It's just something I remember reading about. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, there's a, an army song uh, known as Napalm Sticks to Kids. Mm. It's about the Vietnam War and uh, soldiers attacking civilians. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. And of course this part here where there's like an army barracks also sort of you know mm. adds to the it being Vietnam kind of thing. Also also the fuck off tanks in the background. Yes. <laughs> I love these guys that just dart up the bullet shaped weapons that just dart up and you can like not see them coming, that's fair. And I seem to recall this being fairly difficult in the Game Gear version because, like, you're making these blind jumps because of the screen crunch. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they have kind of a face on them, so it it gives off a bit of personality. Though, I mean, it's a blank face, so, I mean, who knows what it's thinking. I don't mind getting killed by stuff if it has a personality, that's fine. <laughs> Anyway, this is like a really playing it safe weapon that you're using right now, and it's just another thing that shoots forward. You might as well be using the Mega Buster, you know? True, but I, I just kind of wanted to show off the weapons and whatnot, as I do with every game. Um, so apparently Napalm can't melt steel beams. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, Napalm Mam's weapon is the also napalm bomb. garbage, kind of. It just kind of bounces around and then blows up. That's kind of the point. It's not as fun as real Napalm. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Man, he's very bulky. I seem to recall going him first sometimes. He's easy. Yeah, because he just does, does that sort of jump around thing. Like, these mini metal things are kind of irritating, but yeah. Lives. Yeah. Kind of cute, but I mean, they are kind of a bitch to get rid of. It's like the Mega Man 3 Gemini Man, you know, frog thing. Just amplified because there's three of the little fuckers that get in your way rather than just the one. Yeah. Well, at least they don't move so as erratically as uh, <laughs> those frog things in Mega Man 3 do. I mean, see, they just kind of bunch up close to, next to each other, and they kind of just spread out really slowly. So you can still get a good shot off all, all of them. Like, those frogs in Mega Man 3 are just kind of bouncing all over the place. We got the G. Yeah, that's the... 
tucked off to the side a little bit one. Like some of them letter things are really obvious, some of them are not quite so much. Uh this is the only one that you can Okay. Some of them you do have to restart the level, but at least you'll know where it is, as opposed this is the only one that's hidden out of plain sight. Yeah, well, that's fair enough at least. I don't like it when they're sort of weirdly cryptic. Like, I remember there's that thing in 7 where you got to use the rush sniffer thing in a very specific spot in one of the levels, and it's like, how the fuck are you meant to know to do that? By loving Mega Man 7. <laughs> no, I'd rather just die, but, you know. Yeah, I like the letters. They kind of... How do I phrase this? Um... It's not really exploration, but it's kind of a more incentive to just kind of be a bit, I don't know, get a bit better at the game. Because they're hidden in spots where you kind of have to do either do some, like, trick of sorts, or just be really careful with your jumps, or just, it's really quick reflexes I was able whatnot. to do it just fine, so I don't think it really is that challenging. I mean, like, if Mia can do it, anyone can. <laughs> exactly. Although I can beat Mega Man 6 without getting hit, so, uh... <laughs> it doesn't count you, so, so it's... <laughs> How do you know? No proof. <laughs> I have the actual fucking file, Mia. I can dig up a screen cap whenever I need. <laughs> Photoshop, TBH. <laughs> oh, Christ. Yeah, everything's photoshopped. This level goes on way too long, by the way. A lot of them do. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't bother getting this one because I didn't know how you could how you can get past it. I think it might be the napalm bomb, but I uh, fuck it, I didn't care. <laughs> fuck it, who cares? That's, that's not a good philosophy for playing this game. Doesn't matter anyway, since you have safe states. I will say I really like that mountainous background. It looks actually quite well detailed for a sprite game. Yeah, I mean, it kind of has like that black outlining, and there's a nice uh, variation of colors. It looks good. Bob Ross would be proud. And then you get inside and it looks boring again. And then you get to this part and it's just boring clouds again. <laughs> I could go and make a man five. You won't let me keep praising you, will you? You've got to disappoint me again. <laughs> I wonder if they just ripped this section from uh, Fuck Man stage. Uh, yes. Yes. The wind guy. Fuck Man. <laughs> Gyro. He, he, he was my favourite. <laughs> According to my bio, I am fuck man. But <laughs> <laughs> what's your uh, weapon, Flame? Virginity. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back on topic. This guy is pretty pissed. Like he's pretty pissed for the Buster. He's even more pissed when you just chuck the napalm bombs at him. I love the color Mega Man has with the napalm bomb, though. It looks like bad box art, Mega Man. <laughs> it does a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's an easy pattern to see with Stone Man. If he jumps kind of, if he jumps normally, then hit him. But if he jumps kind of high, get away. And then once he reforms after crumbling, then hit him again. Looks like Mega Man's wearing pantsu. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's the Power Stone weapon, and I hate that weapon so much. It's kind of. Like, it's awkward to use because it's like got a weird directional thing. Yeah, it's like a, it's a weird spiral that kind of starts from the back and then just kind of spreads out as you move along. And I don't think you can use that weapon consecutively until those sprites are gone. So, yeah, don't care for it. Hmm. This game gives you an awful lot of extra lives, I've noticed. It does, it's really fucking generous with them. Yeah, it's a really easy game in general, like, even with save states and whatnot, um, it's, I mean, also given the fact that if you die in Mega Man or get a game over, you still just start at back at the beginning of the stage, it's, um, I think that's one of the reasons why some, like, a lot of people like Mega Man 5, it's, like, easy to kind of pick up. People like this game? Yes, uh, believe it or not. Um, even, you're using a plural there, you are one person. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, screw you. Second off, I like, like, I do. I'll be again. I do like this game, but I don't think it's great. Still, though, like again, there are people who like this game and they do like it for its like easy difficulty. Then, so I mean, I guess you could call this Mega Man for casuals. Yeah, that seems pretty fair. 
Although casuals probably play two on normie mode, so you know it doesn't <laughs> no, even have that to itself. Casuals play ten on easy mode. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> that too. Uh, once again, I like the design of this stage. We're kind of on a train. I like the little effects of the, um, like the sound effects and the effects of the screen going up and down to kind of simulate how it's being on a train. Um, I think we also just passed the Mets that were on little mini trains, and oh my gosh, those guys are so adorable. Yeah, they're adorable. I love them so much. I, I want them as pets. <laughs> Give them to me. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of the uh, the rush coil, which we just used, it is a significant downgrade from the, all the other ones, because the other ones just had, like, a spring that you jumped on, and there you go. But this one, it's like a tiny platform on Rush's back that you have to jump off of. Like, you don't just jump automatically, you have to jump off of it. it it's irritating. It's awkward, it's slow, it's not quite as effective, and in it's general, shit. they deliberately made it worse, and, eh, I... Don't like that. Yeah, why the hell did they change it like that? That that doesn't make any sense. Because it's not good enough just to have an underwhelming game mission next release. You've got to downgrade things as well. <laughs> I don't know. The design process of this game is just kind of seems, I mean, rather standard. But I mean, there are a lot of design choices in here that I have to question. Like, I appreciate why you just took the hit and then forced through there, but why didn't you do that to start with, rather than take a couple of hits from the weapons first? Because <laughs> I wanted to see if I could kill him, but I couldn't kill him. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this guy's, like, he, he's got this whole what angry train fuck? thing going on. I don't know what the fuck, but, like, <laughs> I mean, if you, if you have difficulty with him, I guess you've got to train up, eh? <laughs> but yeah, um, you're kind of like walking back away from him in order to like use the power stone effectively. And yeah, see here the spirals and you have to wait until they're all gone until you can use it again. And there are points where he's invincible. Like the only time you can hit him is when he's walking like that. Otherwise, Just use the buster. Well, whatever. I'm using this thing because I want to show off weapons and how shit they are. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna go eat my Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like Crocs, but I would never go as far as to eat them. This is gross. Thank you for clarifying that. Thank you for putting yourself in a position where you have to clarify that. <laughs> but by defeating Charge Man, we get the Charge Kick, and it's basically uh, more. I uh, like the more powerful r rush thing. Or slide, I'm sorry, slide. Yeah. And it's shit. This is a shit level. I this dis I, I disagree. Honest, I just, no, I, I disagree. I like this level. It's shit here, it's shit in the Game Gear version, and it's one section, well, like, this section at the start is irritating, because, you know, you've got a time around these different things popping out the floor and shit, and then you get to the later section where it sucks. Why didn't you go and, like, up to the higher one? It looks cooler if you go to the higher one. Uh, it kind of sucked me in, so um, I, I didn't have a chance to do it again, and I didn't feel like re-recording it, because, meh. Uh <laughs> Seems just jealous that he didn't get sucked. Mm. <laughs> you got hit by a fucking... Oh. I like the little steam animation that comes out. I mean, I got hit by it, but it still looks cool. I like this section, too. This is the section that would get reused in Splash Woman Stage in 9. It's okay. Once you know what all the bubbles come out in, you can just get up here pretty easy. I prefer Splash Woman's one though because she's hot. <laughs> Each to their own. She is though. She's cute. I mean, Stone Man's where it's at. <laughs> Guts Man fam. <laughs> yeah, so up until this point, the stage has been rather standard. And now we get to one of the more interesting... Uh, design it's choices. It's not interesting at all. <laughs> it's fucking boring, dude. Come on, you're just doing this right. I have no idea what you're talking about. This this is the kind of stuff I actually really like. They kind of change up the gameplay, and I mean, you're still kind of hitting, you're just still kind of mashing the button, but there are like a lot of quick reflexes and kind of moving around and trying not to get hit. Um, to be fair, I did do this in one go, um, and it's relatively easy, but I still found it to be a lot of fun. Except this part, of course. This is just shit. Like, it's irritating how small the like little section you get to hit is. Um, this is one you that I 
I really get annoyed by in the Game Gear one because the Game Gear version has a really irritating, like you hit a thing that doesn't damage it sound effect. And when you oh have yeah. very, very precise where you've got to hit, you will hear a lot of that irritating. It's like just someone hitting the side of like, like something like hard metal. Uh, it just, you know, it sounds awful. I, I suppose. and <laughs> Harder than Steel Fan. But yeah, like it, the Game Gear version in general has weird sound effects. Like I like the normal you hit and damage them sound effect. That it sounds like someone hitting the side of a can. Huh. Hey, you got the thing. But yeah, I mean, I still, I still like this thing because it kind of changes up like what the what we've come to expect from Mega Man. Because like this is the first time in this like I don't th that we uh, don't control Mega Man directly, which I mean it's kind of automatic and whatnot. I I I just enjoyed it. Nah, it's garbage. I like how you say it's something that we come to, like, not expect, whereas, like, I expect you to be bad at Mega Man, and there you were with three points of health left, so, you know, met my expectations. <laughs> right, of course. Also, this game has the M tank. Hmm, which is, to my recollection, just a heals all your, like, health as well as your weapon. Yeah, there's only one in the game, although I think you can get another one if you replay Crystal Man stage. I can't remember. I don't go out my way to replay the levels in this. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Wave Man's dead. <laughs> but in using the charge kick, it's it's just like it doesn't really go far enough. I mean, you have to be close enough to the enemy so you can go past him in order to not get hit by him. And there's also doesn't help that there's also the steam things there, which still look kind of cool, but are also really annoying. Ugh. Yeah, but now after that's done, we get finally get to take on Proto Man, who is is the is the villain of the game? Question yep. mark. You don't have to bullshit us here, fam. <laughs> yeah, of, of course I don't. I like the design of this castle, and we will get to explore it in the next episode. <laughs>